guys how are you guys doing girl it's time for another chit chat hey i look cute huh because i'm getting ready for a zoom call and i need for them to think i look like this all the time first time meeting with these people anyway y'all this is a chit chat you know how we do this i talk about what's going on in my personal life what i'm watching on youtube and what i'm watching on tv aka hulu netflix sling oh now i got t tebo t-e-b-o that's free y'all all right, you guys, we're going to be doing my hair. My hair is still blown out. I'm going to give it one more week. But only because I think the, the reason I can stretch it out to a month is because I'm not applying a lot of products and I'm not doing nothing to my hair. So, baby, let's just go ahead and take this down. Girl, we're going to do a cute little half up, half down. But we're going to get started with that later on. Um, Y'all, this is just peach juice. All right, you guys, these kids are going to be out of school soon. Baby, they're going to be working on nerves. Mm -mm, I'm not looking forward to it. Ooh, my hair feels dry. Um, One thing I like to do every night, again, you guys, when my hair is blowing out, is I apply a little bit of oil. It's so much hair that I can get away with doing it. Let me take off my, just to keep it, quote, unquote, moisturized. Girl, this hair, let me tell y'all something. I know that most men like hair. This hair in general, not this hair, not my hair in particular, but hair in general can be kryptonite for some men. Let me tell you something. Like, last week, not even that, like two weeks ago, I went to a daiquiri shop here and it was down and it's rarely down. Okay, it was down like this. I don't know, makeup, plain Jane, but the hair was down and flowing. It was, it was longer than this because it was freshly blown out, right? And the manager, the owner, who I've met before, but he'd never seen my hair down, he was like, I was like, hi. Y'all know me. Well, maybe you don't know me, but when I say hi, I sound all country. So I go in and he's like, oh, look at that hair. Come on. Oh, look at, look at all that hair. He's like, is that all you? I said, yes, it is. He's like, that's a lot of hair. He said, that looks nice. I said, you know what? You men... I said, and so I got my girl, I have my little goodie stretchy on my on my arm. I said, let me go ahead and put this hair up. He starts laughing. He's like, that's all you? I said, yes, this is all me. Girl, I'm telling y'all, this hair, that's why I wear it up. I wear it up. All right, y'all, it's a little tangled. Let me get to it. Yeah, it's very tangled at the root. Ooh, itchy, itchy. Anyway, you guys, so summertime is coming up soon. Um, and we have a couple of things we're going to be doing, putting JV in. Well, one thing, girl. Um, my father's side of the family is, is having a family reunion at the end of June. But, baby, out in Mount Pleasant, Texas, which is East Texas, I'm not going to be able to do it. It is hot as hell out there. It is too. And it's tons of pine trees. I'm allergic to pine trees. I can't do it. I can't. Um... Plus, JV already saw that side of the family um, a couple of weeks ago when he attended a funeral with my parents. So, oh girl, I'm hot. So yeah, that's what's going on. Family reunion in June. We, I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it, girl. Um, you guys, I paid off one of my major debts, my PayPal account. Now, those of you who don't know, I've been on a journey for getting out of debt, completely debt free. And I will be the first, one of the first to admit, I take a couple of steps forward and a couple of steps back. I will say that I accomplished a lot. I had so many, not only just credit cards, but um, lines of credit and everything open and it's slowly getting down. So I was using, or I'm using the David Ramsey method and that I was paying off the uh, items that have the lowest amount and then snowballing and rolling that up into paying off the next one so really focusing on that and i know that if i really really wanted to cut it out i would cut back on everything like eating out get my nails done but y'all this is one of this is my only vice honestly is getting my nails done and i only do it once a month it's a big penny <laughs> 63 dollars with a tip that includes the tip so y'all found me a great nail technician his name is tran girl he is an older Vietnamese man, meaning he's he's definitely over, he's close to 50. And so, child, he loves to talk. I love me, those type of nail technicians. And, um, and me personally, I prefer male technicians because I find that they are better. 
Y'all, let me put half of this hair up because that's how we're going to do it. I'm going to use a little bit of this Hollywood Beauty all along my edges. Girl. So, yeah, y'all. So, I picked out this combination. Isn't that cute? Really classy, classy, springy, springy. I'm going to use my brush. Y'all, JB has been learning how to do his own hair in the morning. So, I told him how to do or I taught him, basically, how to do the um, the lock method, liquid, all in cream. And so, he does it, y'all, in the morning. He puts water on his hair and then he puts, you know, oil or cream and more oil. Girl, he be using a lot. And then hair gel because he wants his curls popping and then he used the sponge. So, yeah, it's just I'm getting him ready, y'all, because he's going to be going through puberty in a couple of more years. I'm just getting him ready to be a young man. So, I'm um, also teaching him about washing his face because he's getting a little bit of his child getting a little bitty white heads on his nose i'm like yeah you need to start doing washing your your face when you wake up yeah i'm gonna put this up over here that's cute huh hey y'all look his fish is good um uh, i told y'all last time was it last chit chat that fish i thought he was dead i mean he was at the bottom of that tank for days and maybe he was swimming around but the lights were off <laughs> He's doing good. He's a little lethargic every now and then, but he's back to his regular self. And I was like, okay, then um, Phoenix, his name is Phoenix. I said, okay, then Phoenix, I thought you were going on to glory, but since you want to hang around, um, <sighs> y'all, my nerves. So that's it, you know, with the personal life. What I'm watching on TV, excuse me, on YouTube, y'all, I'm still getting a kick out of watching Kendra G's youtube channel i'm just gonna pin this in the back you guys what am i gonna do with this <clears throat> i'm just gonna tuck this in right here and then pin this down i'm still watching kendra g's dating channel and um you know i take back a little bit back on what i said about how you know she basically asked him a number of questions or the, the person who's looking for love one of the questions she asked is does the individual that they're thinking about dating has to make a certain dollar amount and i noticed that a lot of people regardless of gender was saying oh you need to make like six figures and yada 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 this is my thing like that's okay and everyone has their preference i'm putting this back y'all but for me how much money you make is not as important as your credit score yeah i will be dishing out you need to have a minimum credit score or yeah like 700 minimum 700 credit score because you can have be making two hundred thousand dollars a year and be half a million dollars in debt you see what i'm saying or you could be making that much money but have like four or five kids and paying a ridiculous amount of child support then on the flip side you have people that make fifty thousand sixty thousand that have no debt and they're able to save most of their income so yeah, girl, looking at Kendra G, um, y'all, I've started playing Sims on my computer. I officially downloaded it the correct way. Y'all be getting mad at her, talking to her. Her name is Cheris. Her name is either Cherish or Chastity. I don't know, girl, one of them. Um, child, I was watching uh, one of those true crimes, and I've seen this story, heard of this story before, where this woman killed her husband by just pushing him off the mountain. And I'm like, <clears throat> because she, she just didn't want to be married anymore. And I'm like, girl, you couldn't just leave him and say, you, you, you'll be right back. You're going to go to Target and you just never return. You can just pack up your shit and leave while he's at work. You literally are going to push him off the mountain if you're going to get away with it. Then I saw another story of a woman who was a nurse. Well, she was a nurse. She killed her husband by poisoning him with what was it eye drops literal like literally eye drops like again you don't think they're not gonna run any type of preliminary tests and screening on his ass now i will say she tried to get his body um <clears throat> she tried to get him cremated but his family was like oh no the hell you don't we're gonna go ahead and do it have an autopsy before him and that's when they found that whatever the chemical is in this particular type of eye drop 
that she had been poisoning him with over the course of like three or four days and he finally succumbed to it. And these people get what they deserve, meaning that they deserve to be in jail for the rest of their life for doing stupid petty stuff. Excuse me. So, all right, y'all. So what I'm watching on TV, Netflix, Hulu, I'm actually watching a lot of movies. I slowed down on watching a series because I'm getting a little bored. Although I did start on season two of um, Yellow Jackets. Yeah, these crazy help us. <laughs> season two of Yellow Jackets. Some movies. Oh, 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 let me back up. I also started the first um, um, episode of Queen Charlotte, which is the spinoff of Bridgerton. I'm trying to get into it, you guys. I really am. But a part of me just likes the older Queen Charlotte. But I get there's a backstory. So I, I'm going to have to really get into it and um, really watch it, I guess. Again, it's called Queen Charlotte. If you have not watched Bridgerton, you really need to check it out. It's on Netflix. Okay, so movies, y'all. I watched one of my favorite, favorite movies. Look, I am a stickler for movies that depict how it was. And like the 50s or 60s. Y'all know I'm vintage. I'm retro. Look at me. Look at me. Cat, cat eyeglasses. But anyway, Eve's Bayou. I love Eve's Bayou. I must have watched that movie so many times. Um, and so I watched it like twice in a row because I, I just had to, girl. And so the cast of the movie is spectacular. I mean, you have Lynn Whitfield. You have the cute little dimples from, what was she from? Was she from Young and the Restless? Debbie Morgan. And then you have, I forgot her name that, that plays the witch. <clears throat> Diane Carroll. Diane Carroll. Um, who was the other sister? Um, she used to play in ER. Lisa Nicole. Nicole Lisa Carson. Something like that. Unfortunately, she she um, has some mental issues. She's a lot better now. But absolutely love the movie again. And of course, you've got the light-skinned kids. <laughs> Uh, you got those kids that spectacular and I just love the movie. I, I really do you guys. And I, like I said, I love that type of vintage era from the fifties and sixties. And so it was a great movie with a great storyline. Um, Eve's Bayou. Eve's Bayou for me is up there with Karina Karina. I love Karina Karina as a movie. I just love that movie. I really do. I love movies like that. All right, you guys. Um, <clears throat> I watched, started to watch this morning. It's Atonement, which is a little disturbing. I wanted to take my time to watch the movie Atonement, and I've watched, watched it before. Um, I watched Hannah. I like those type of action-packed movies. Again, it's called Hannah. Made in America with um, Whoopi Goldberg. And what is her name? Girl, her husband was just called recently cheating on a job child made in america and of course will smith is in it acting corny as hell um great great cute little movie i haven't finished it i just started watching it because it's so and jennifer tilly is in that movie yeah i love jennifer tilly she is so cute um her sister is actually an actress too what else am i watching up that is it like i said i'm watching a lot of movies i'm not really watching some series um, I am looking forward to when Handmaid's Tale is coming back, whenever it does came back, come back. I am so disappointed in so many series that I'm seeing that were canceled. Um, girl, Sh speaking of, Shamar Moore was on Instagram recently complaining about whatever, <clears throat> excuse me, it, it, it's not necessarily him complaining. He has every right because this is his job. But basically, whatever series he's in was canceled um and he basically said he's like look i'm one of the few african-american um male actors leading male actors on like a prime time and i'm like wow really that's crazy to me so i don't blame him from airing it out um but yeah so it's that's his prerogative so anyway y'all like i said not a lot of series that i'm watching uh so what are y'all watching let me know what y'all watching let me put this hair down y'all let me show y'all what it's gonna look like Okay, so this is how I'm just going to be for the day. This is how they're going to see. What time is it? Okay, this is it. Like, hi, how y'all doing? <laughs> I don't even wear earrings. I could, I guess I could put on some little small hoops. No, I'm not. This is all I'm going to be like. All right, you guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you as always to all of me subscribers. Take care. Bye.